Well, welcome to this week's uh, BRN United. I'm, I'm delighted to welcome to this week's uh, video uh, blog, Dr. Kim Gruzer. Uh, Kim serves as pastor of the uh, Pittsburgh Baptist Church in Pittsburgh, but he also serves as the chairman of our executive director treasurer search committee. And uh, earlier uh, in, the, in the summer, we had a chance to talk with Kim as the committee was beginning its work, and we thought it'd be good if we could take some time this week to give us an update. So welcome, Kim, and uh, with that kind of introduction, kind of walk through the, the journey the committee's been on since, uh, since you began. Well, we were pretty tired, so we just took the summer off. <laughs> no, that's, that's clearly not the case. These last five months uh, have been very active uh, for the committee. Uh, we have met personally several times. We've had other Zoom meetings and conference calls and dozens upon dozens of, of emails. Uh, once we... Uh, work to develop the profile for the position, uh, which uh, took quite a bit of time. Uh, we first uh, had spent a season in prayer, discussed what we thought that that profile should look like. We developed that profile and then we posted it. Uh, we posted it uh, through the job search with the Southern Baptist Convention website, sbc.com. Uh, I know that you took it to all of the uh, state execs around the country. Uh, we shared it with each of our six seminaries. Um, and then, of course, we had the word of mouth. So this has truly been a, a national search. Uh, we spent... Uh, the beginning of August uh, through the 10th of September, receiving resumes uh, and, and sharing them uh, with each of the committee members as they would come in. And then we just began to go through them uh, individually, uh, each resume individually, and, and then we settled on a few. Um, we gathered again a few weeks ago and uh, had that conversation. And uh, now we've begun the uh, interview process. Okay. Uh, so, so that's that's where we are. So so from now the committee began, so you were elected in, I guess, in, was it March? <clears throat> uh, I think it was, a. I think the, I, I was thinking that the names were approved in the January executive committee yeah. uh, meeting, and then we we began to meet in March. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which was really soon after the time that Dr. Waltz retired. So when, right. you, when you think about the timeline and the fact that it's been the summer, you've really made some huge you know, progress in a rel relatively short amount of time. So you're at, you're at the point now of beginning to, to, to kind of narrow the, the pool and to, mm -hmm. to deeply. So, you know, this video blog goes to eight, 900 uh, people across Penn Jersey and, and some other places. So at, at this point in the search process, what, what could those who are listening to us this week, what can we do? What can they do? Um, how can they come alongside and encourage and support the work of the committee right now? Sure. Good question. Certainly, uh, prayer is going to be paramount as we narrow our focus. Uh, we, we are both, uh, I would say, aware of the uh, significance of what we are doing, hmm. uh, both in the present but also for the future of our convention. Yeah. And um, if we focused on that, if we thought about that really too much, it would be overwhelming. <laughs> Uh, especially coming on the heels of uh, people like Dr. Waltz and yourself and others. And so uh, prayer and that spiritual discernment. And I would also say that uh, spiritual warfare is a, uh, is a component of this. Uh, Satan doesn't want uh, God's right person mm -hmm. in any of these positions, uh, whether they be uh, as significant as executive director or pastor of a local church. Mm, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true. And, and, and so I myself have uh, experienced a, a bit of that over this summer, and I'm sure that if we pulled the rest of the uh, 
uh, committee members. We would find uh, others would echo that as well. And it's going to be the prayers of the people of our convention mm. uh, that are really going to uh, help uh, feed the process in a healthy way. And so obviously that feeds the unity of the committee, but also that, that feeds the you know, the ultimate candidate in terms of what's going on in their life and, and, and the, the dynamics that they're experiencing. So we yeah. Can, yeah. thank you very much for letting me uh, kind of break into your morning uh, to give this update. And I, I appreciate very much the, the, the diligence that you and the committee are, are exercising and representing all of us and looking for the, the person God has for us to lead us, you know, go, going forward. So thank you. Thank you uh, to, for the rest, uh, for joining uh, BRN United this week, and we look forward to talking to you next week. God bless.